Well, hello. We're back. <laughs> um, so last time we, we met some cats, some cool cats. Got turned into a, a lot of cat. different voices. They're wonderful creatures, very personable. Oh. Uh, but we pick up. I'm after a rather painful journey. I'm very grateful to finally limp into camp. I have just enough time to get myself tidied up to work before I peel off the filthy pajamas. Oh yeah, you're still in your pajamas. <laughs> well, my catalog beeps. The pajamas. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. It's not from any of the contacts that Professor Popper programmed into it. In fact, there's no contact information at all. Since there's so many cats, do you want to take over all the people voices? <laughs> sure. Okay. No, not except... Except, uh... Except the professor? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure it is wise to trust everyone? Anyone? What on earth does that mean? <clears throat> Who is this? I mean, you're more or less narrator anyway, so... There's a lot you don't know. Think carefully about who you confide in. Fuck. Before I can think of a reply, the messages are gone and my catalog has no record of them. I don't have any time to think about this right now. I need to get ready. As soon as I'm presentable, I head over to the lab. In ten minutes late, but it doesn't give... Oh, it doesn't give a good impression on my first morning. Oh, Nick, good to see you. I was beginning to worry. Did you oversleep on your first day? I'm terribly sorry, sir. I think the traveling and all the excitement of yesterday... I, I take punctuality very seriously. <coughs> cuts across my apology. It cuts you. <laughs> Not to worry, it's perfectly understandable. You'll find I'm quite relaxed about most things. As long as you get the work done, I don't mind what hours you keep. Thank you, sir. So, shall we get started? My goodness, what on earth happened to you? He looks at the scratches all over my hands. Oh, I uh, fell and tried to save myself by grabbing into a bush. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's more or less what he's saying. Uh, yes, sir. I, I actually drink quite a lot. Oh. <laughs> Just teasing. We ought to get those hands sorted out, though. They look pretty nasty to me. He goes to the tall metal cabinet in the corner, takes out a bottle and some cotton wool, he begins cleaning it, tending to my hands while he talks. Your hands are so tender. <laughs> my God. Look at Peanut <laughs> Island. Let you make your own choices. <laughs> of course, you are here to primarily be my research assistant. I need your help around here, but I need to get your hands dirty. Even though they're scratched. <laughs> Take the time to get to know the cats. Full understanding of their behavior is crucial. There's plenty to see and do. However, you must be not careful to overwork. Take regular tests and re rest and relaxation. <laughs> Don't burn yourself out now. I'll try to get the balance right. That's spirit, so there you are. He's on a first-class job on my wounds, and they aren't bothering me nearly as much. I spend the rest of the day with the professor, getting to know how the various pieces of equipment in the lab work, and find out everything. Blah, 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 blah. By the end of the day, I'm Lots exhausted. Of talking. <laughs> so much. I'm ready to date. <laughs> About to flop down on my bed when I see a package poking out oh, from underneath the it. package. Kibbles <laughs> promised to deliver. Cats, the cats are right. A cat package. The previous person <laughs> barely made a start on producing an antidote. I'm gutted and worried. What if I can't do anything better? Will I just turn into a cat? Decided that's not an option and resolved to get going on my own You research. ran out and chased the blinking red light because cats love to chase lasers. <laughs> I'm a cat right now. <laughs> Thinking I'm a human, but I'm still just a cat. My instincts tell me that the cats will be a good starting point. I have a feeling that they know a lot more than they're prepared to tell me. <laughs> Need to gain their trust. I'm optimistic that one-to-one -one sharing will prove fruitful. It's a glimmer of hope. Tonight I'm not fit for anything because I can barely write my own journal before I fall asleep. Same. Oh, we wake up. <coughs> it's good to get the cats known better. <sighs> Here we go. <gasps> what <laughs> should we do today? Let's go back to bed. We need some research. I thought you wanted a date. Well, we gotta get to know them, but we gotta research. <laughs> um. Time to round up some roundy kitties. <laughs> yeah. Rowdy. It's a sunny afternoon. Most of the cats are lazy on the beach. Perfect. Like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> I double check my supply list. Crate, treats, sedatives, snare, catnip, antiseptic cream for myself. I've got everything. I have a sick feeling in my tummy, but I ignore it the best I can. This is going to be a challenge, but I'm pleased the professor is trusting me with more physical tasks. Walk out onto the beach feeling like the child catcher. What? <laughs> that's what a that's that? a reference from um <coughs> Chitty Shitty Bang Bang. Okay, I, it missed me, so... Oh, I, I'm assuming that's what it is, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the child catcher. I keep reminding myself that I'm doing this for the greater God. Good. Even if it makes me unpopular with the cats. I set up the crate in an unsuspecting location and keep it. I 
first I stroll around trying to look as casual. Just leave a box open and a cat will jump into it. Are you going to come with me? The cat looks at me with big open. Come on then. Pick up the cat, carry her into the great place, gently inside. I lock it shut. Even though the cat makes no attempt to escape. Well, that went better than I expected. This might be a good day after all. Don't give no fucks. <laughs> Emboldened by my success, I approach one of the slightly larger cats. Hey, matey. Shall we get in the basket? <laughs> give him a little stroke. He doesn't respond badly, although he doesn't seem particularly interested as well. I put my hands on either side of his booty and ready to pick him up. He doesn't look happy about it and growls his warning. His booty? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mister, it's going to be okay. We're just going to take a little trip, all right? So as I lift him, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Yowling and hissing, he scratches my arms. Ow, 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 oh no. Though I'm defeated, I let him go and he scampers off. I look down at my ravaged arms, note to self wear long sleeves when caging duty. So I'm 1.4% towards an antidote. That's good. <laughs> Recon and romance. Let's romance some of the cats. Get to know them better. <laughs> oh, um. Who? I, I think you're feeling more like Snooty Booty Voice <laughs> right now. Well. You want to date the Emperor Cat? <laughs> <laughs> We're not dating any of them. We're just getting to know them better. <laughs> it clearly said romance. <laughs> romance can mean many things. Snooty booty. booty, in response, under the shade of a palm tree, is looking about her with a concerned expression. <laughs> one that I've never seen a cat make before. I go over to her, see if I can help with something. Are you okay, Snooty Booty? <laughs> she lets out another long, wistful uh, sigh. To be quite frank with you, human, no, I am not okay. I cannot expose this delicate skin of mine to the sun, but there's something I need to retrieve from further down the beach. It's quite the predicament. All right. Want me to fetch it for you? Ah, oh, would you really be so kind, human? I would be very grateful. Sure, it's no problem. We can't have you putting that delicate skin of yours at risk, can we? Snooty Booty looks grave. That wrinkly ball sack skin. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed not. Skin can't care call must her come above all else, don't you know? One must never expose one's skins to the elements, human. It really is quite aging. One must also never get stressed if one wishes to retain one's youthful aura, which is rather difficult on this frightful island. Oh, I know, believe me. How do you know? Are you stressed? Oh no, that would upset me terribly. Really? That's sweet of you, Snooty Booty. <laughs> of course, you really are a precious thing. I do hope you so hope you're finding your time here pleasant. Don't worry about me, Snooty Booty. I'm fine. Now, what else do you like me to How get How many times are you going to say Snooty Booty in this episode? <laughs> well, before I tell you, I must ask that you don't inform the others of the whereabouts of this particular More than item. I've ever said those words together in my life. <laughs> I've never called him Snooty Booty. I don't know if I've booty. ever said that. That might be your new nickname, Snooty Booty. <laughs> well, it's not. It is very dear to me. You see, it's one of the few luxuries I have told to myself. Of course, that's no problem. I can be discreet when I need to be. I do hope so, human. You see, along the beach just south of here, there is a tree which bears the ripest of coconuts all year round. It's quite splendid. The coconuts are always so sweet and creamy. <coughs> <laughs> Snooty Booty looks as if she's lost in a wonderful dream. Um, My sounds lightsaber lovely. lightsaber is down there. <laughs> it is. I like to drink the coconut water as often as I can, as it is so good for the skin and waistline. <laughs> but the less civilized denizens of the island keep knocking the coconuts down before they're fully matured. Have you ever had a coconut? It's mm. not a fruit that uh, a cat would tell you about. You get it now. <laughs> Seems to have discovered this particular tree yet. Well, okay, Snooty Booty. I'll try to find some coconuts for you. Is there a way you. to find this tree? Not from a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> not from a human. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Have my thanks, human. <laughs> I've been walking for a lot longer than Snooty Booty led me to leave. I'm not sure if this is even it's right tree. It's a trap. <laughs> Shoots lightning at you. <laughs> Although this one does seem to have more coconuts than the others, I decide to take a chance and bundle up as many as I carry in my arm and haul them back to her ladyship. By the time I get back to Snooty Booty, I'm faint from the exertion, not to mention walking so far in the sun. I fall to my knees, panting in front of her. <sighs> Here you go, Boots. She has the pile with a distinct air of disapproval. I only needed one coconut, human. Oh. These are far too many. <laughs> well, I do apologize, madame. Tell me you didn't plunder the tree. No, there were plenty on the ground already, so... Oh, well, that's a sore <coughs> mercy. At least you didn't hack them down. Hack them down? With what? Well, your hands are rather large and leathery. <laughs> Snooty booty, I do and not use my hands for deforestation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure you did your very best, although I really don't know what I'm going to do with so many coconuts. 
You're welcome, I'm sure. Maybe make a bra. <laughs> I look down at the pile of coconuts and it strikes me properly for the first time how strange it is that there are no creatures on the island to plunder them. What do you think it is, Snoots? That keeps wildlife away from the do island. Do not call me Snoots. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean the magnetic barrier? Magnetic barrier? Oh, I do keep up, woman. I thought you were meant to be a scientist. I realize she must be referring to the force field that surrounds the island. Now be a dear and crack one open for me. With my enormous hands? You might say you were cracking one with the cold one with the girls. <laughs> well, you could try, I suppose. I push down the irritation. I push down the irritation that slowly rises, rising in me and smile politely. On second thought, I'll be right back with a screwdriver. A what? Snooty Booty looks horrified. It's a sharp metal tool that bores into things. What on earth do you need one of those for? So that I can make a hole to get the water out of the coconut. How else would you propose I do it? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, look around you. Look at nature's bounties. What about that? Do it. <laughs> Snooty gestures with a limp paw at a shred of rock nearby. Snoots, how do you usually get the water out of coconut when there isn't a human around? Well, the exuberant Kibbers simply loves to break things. Have you not noticed? It's one of the few reasons I tolerate him, don't you know? <laughs> Far better than one of your screwdrivers, don't you think? <laughs> I like that, screwdrivers. <laughs> I reach over and pick up the rock. It doesn't look like it could actually do the job. Okay, let's give this a try. Here goes. Holding the coconut in a palm leaf, I gently tap the shell a few times with the stone before finally whacking it. It cracks open surprisingly easy, and the water drains onto the leaf. There now, see how nature provides, human. Ooh. Yep, again, there was you're welcome. In between. Quiet. <laughs> Snooty Booty stretches her neck and then up her body <laughs> towards the leaf. She sticks her tongue out as far as it can go before raising her big eyes to me. I can't seem quite to. I re suddenly realize what she's getting at. <coughs> I'm trying to romance her, I guess. I let her struggle for a moment or two before I begin to feel a bit like a child and pulling the wings off of a fly. She can't help the way she is. You seem to be struggling a little, Boots. Well, now you've placed my libations tightly out of my reach. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to help? <laughs> Bring it a little closer, perhaps? Fuck off. <laughs> of course I would, woman. I would very much like to help you, Snoots, but you make it rather difficult. Ow, I don't understand. I've been perfectly clear in my instruction. You see, I'm under a spell. It's a very powerful one, which prevents me from fouling... <laughs> fouling <laughs> any instruction unless accompanied by some magic words. Oh, which you can't enlighten <coughs> me. Well, it would go something like this. Please, human, would you mind passing me my libation? Thank you very much. There's a pause during which I'm not... I'm really not sure what Snooty Booty is thinking. I see your fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have forgotten my manners. Please do be so kind, human. I would be most obliged. Oh, go on, then. I nudge the leaf closer to her, and she delicately laps it up. I truly am indebted. Many thanks. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know... Searching for those coconuts was thirsty work. Oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> She's still lapping at oh. the water. <laughs> oh, my throat's a bit scratchy, especially in this heat. Snooty Booty finally comes up for air. Right, that's the beauty of the coconut, you see. It's so hydrating and most palatable, too. You really ought to try it sometime. I mean, there's 12 other ones. Couldn't I just crack one of those bad boys open? I look down now at the dry palm leaf. Yes, that's a good idea, Boots. And the very best thing after drinking coconut water is to curl up and have a nap, you know. Beauty sleep is the most important. Oh, is that so? Indeed, human. I suppose you have other things to do now. Uh, well, Dirty Booty yawns and closes her eyes. I suppose I do. Sweet dreams, princess. Kill our humans. <laughs> well. She's a bitch. She's something. <coughs> More romance. Romancing the kitties. 